Hi everyone, welcome back to The Decent Studio. I'm Paul and today I'm introducing the Tipsy Range. Some of you may be familiar with the smaller size Tipsy Cup. We exhibited this as a sensory cup and everything we enjoyed and loved about this cup has transferred over to the larger size ones here. So in my left hand, we have a 180 milliliters, great for a piccolo latte or a flat white, or maybe a small cappuccino. And then we have the larger size here, which is at 250 milliliters, great for the people that enjoy a larger size milk drink. Some of you may be wondering why we've extended the range to slightly larger sizes. We really want to exhibit these two cups to really showcase milk beverages, specifically, placing latte art inside as well as it being great for latte art it has a much thinner wall especially when you're using light roast coffees the thinner walls on these cup enables you to steam your milk at a much lower temperature we all know that ceramics will take heat away from your milk and historically what we've done is we've increased the temperature of our milk to bypass this problem. Due to the thinner walls we're not taking away anything anymore or essentially when you get your first sip you're getting it at perfect temperature. How that affects your beverage, because the milk is not steamed as hot, your milk will become sweeter. With a lighter roast coffee, your milk beverage will become much more balanced and much more enjoyable. As we can see, I have a typical cup here because it's kind of what you will generally see if you're looking for a good coffee cup. Essentially, it is a domed bottom. It's very similar to the Tipsy Cup, but the Tipsy Cup obviously has a curved upper edge. What we would like to show you is how thick it is compared to the Tipsy Cup. Because of the less thermal mass we have to heat up when we're pouring in the milk, that is the main reason why you can get away with the lower temperatures. On the inside of the cup, it is curved towards the top, so it is slightly smaller as compared to the middle of the cup. And it is also polished on the inside, which is the same as the smaller version. The polishing on the inside does one of two things. It helps with the swirling of the shot, but it also helps with what we want to showcase in this video, a shot and a dash of milk to create that canvas in which to pour your beautiful latte out on. But the inside is smooth to help the swirl of the milk, but the outside, we have texturized this, so you do have a bit more grip and lovely textile feel from the outside. Because the walls are thinner, we do have to say, if you do like your beverages along the extra hot line, uh, this cup may not be suitable for you, but because it does have thinner walls and is a larger cup and is great for swirling, I have found myself putting shots in here and swirling it and really enjoying it because it's a large cup and it cools down that extra little bit quicker. As we were swirling the shot and foamed milk in this cup, I was actually doing it for a much longer time as compared to the other two cups. Even though I was doing it for a much longer time, my swirl was much more controlled and I was quite focused to make sure I wasn't spilling it out of the cup. For the more common farm found cup, it was much easier to integrate and the timing was very similar. Uh, this is due to the biconcave shape of the actual cup, but I was also mindful, similar to the first cup, that I was worried they would come out as I was swirling it. For the Tipsy Cup, it was a very similar time to the ideal cup that you will commonly find, but due to the actual shape of the cup being smaller at the top as compared to the middle, so I was actually swirling the cup and swirling the milk without worrying about my shot coming out of the cup as I was swirling. I'm tipping the cup as low as I can to the edge so I get the shot or the water in this case to represent the shot as close to the edge as possible, enabling me to get as close and as far in as possible as I can. This milk jug is almost horizontal and I'm probably around one centimeter away. I can put my milk jug in almost two thirds of the way into the cup. And that means I'm able to pour my latte art right back in here, uh, creating a much more balanced and wrapping around latte arts that you see on uh, much wider cups like these. As you can see, now I'm actually only halfway through the cup and my distance is still one and a half centimeters. And that equates to my latte art only appearing here. You can start to place your latte art much earlier on the closer you can get to your milk surface or your beverage surface or you can alternatively get very skilled and learn how to control your milk flow but with the aid of this cup you will achieve better latte art so there you have it there's our introduction to our range of tipsy cup if you like a piccolo latte small cappuccino try the 180 tipsy cup if you like a larger latte like an american size latte try the 250 size if you just like it black go for the small one. Thank you.